Experimental mode has finally come to Overwatch, a game mode that I'm actually pretty dang excited for because I feel like a lot of other game developers should do this, you know, a, a game mode that is specifically designed just to test things and to see how fun something is or how unfun something is, you know, like look at Earth from League of Legends, right? Uh, Riot released that and everyone freaking loved it because it's fun. That's literally it, just because it's very fun. So why not have, you know, other games that let you do more experimental stuff like this or just more fun options but anyway okay whatever the wait is over today is the 25th that means that the experimental mode has officially come out and i definitely suggest giving it a shot if you guys haven't already but i'm gonna let mr kaplan explain exactly how it works this is just an experiment that we're trying so the change to roll queue that we're going to be trying on the experimental card tomorrow is one in which it changes the number of rolls and restrictions to those roles such that we will have one tank, three damage, and two support players. So obviously this shifts off of the current roll queue, which is two, two, two. Yes, you heard him right. That is a three, two, one roll lock or a one, two, three, or a three, one, two, or a one, three, two, there's a lot of combinations, whatever. Okay, but yes, a three, two, one roll lock, despite Jeff not too long ago actually saying he didn't think it was the right thing for the game. And in the same video, that the clip I just showed you, that dev video, he also explains why exactly they wanted to put a three, two, one roll lock in. Now, you might be wondering, why are you trying this change? And I, I think the why is the most important thing behind any design decision. So the impetus for this was a discussion we were having months ago. In fact, we were having this in, I think it was November or December of last year, where we were talking about how do we make damage queue times faster? As many of you know, when we introduced roll queue, which is a, a system we think is very successful and has overall been a positive change to the game, it added some extra queue time for those players who were playing damage. So yeah, a common complaint with roll queue is literally just the amount of time it took to get into a game when you're queued up as DPS, obviously because, you know, everyone wants to play DPS, it's the most common. And then he goes on to say that when they were trying the 3-2-1 comp within the dev team, they said it was very fun, but it was very controversial because some people hated it, like hated it and some people loved it apparently so that's where we come in we come in the middle and they're like woo woo and then we just we try it out for them we're gonna be their middleman and give them opinions and yeah that's kind of how it works but they're going to make sure to specifically monitor the actual queue times to see if it's accomplishing its goal the biggest concern that blizzard had was what would happen to off tanks in the roll lock when you've only got one slot for a tank because if you only have one slot for a tank you're probably going to want that one tank to be an actual main tank and not just an off tank so what they did to compensate for that is pretty much just make the off tanks main tanks like you know Roadhog, Zarya, them for example. So basically with Roadhog, what they did was they gave him a fart cloud that surrounds him and it heals him and actually makes his allies nearby take reduced damage. But again, that's only for the triple damage mode. So in like 2-2-2 two, two, two or quick play or competitive, Roadhog is still just an off tank. He doesn't make fart clouds around him in, in normal, but if they were to actually want to run with this idea of using triple damage in 3-2-1 and they wanted to push it to live, then we could probably actually expect to see Roadhog in this current state that we see him right now with this fart cloud and this you know what i'm trying to say yes we could see a different roadhog we could see a different zarya and we could see a different diva whatever it may be but uh the uh the experimental mode is actually live right now i just spit on the mic the experimental mode is live right now so if you guys have not given it a shot already i definitely think you should and let me know how it is drop some comments down below because i have not yet played it and i would like to see it but jeff kaplan and the overwatch team deciding to implement the triple damage is pretty dang funny to me because it was like last month i think like no more than two months ago where jeff kaplan said that they tried the 321 they tried the triple damage and they said it was not the correct way for the game but then he does a complete 180 and he's like you know what we're doing it now but i imagine like the overwatch team was probably just so torn they were just like they probably had like a, a poll it was like 50 50. half of them were like this sucks and the other half were like this is amazing we gotta push this so they're like dude let's just let the players try it but have you guys played it and if so like i said let me know how it is tell me in the comments down below i want to hear i'm very curious i want to hear you guys opinions do you think it is a step in the right direction for overwatch or do you think that blizzard needs to go back to the drawing board and keep experimenting until they find something right but anyway thank you for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed i'll be seeing you all very soon so take it easy have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>